Hi there, I'm Phil Woolley and this is PW English Lab. In this session I want to begin to talk to you about the present perfect. Wow, present perfect. It's not easy, I know. Many of my students say this is too difficult. But I want to say to you, it's not difficult, but it's new perhaps for you. As far as I'm aware, I don't know of any other languages that use this type of perfect form. So very often it's difficult, especially in translation and to understand its meaning. And over these next few video sessions, I want to try and break it down for you and then build it back together for you. Right now, I just want to help you with some ideas. Obviously, in grammar books, you will get a lot more information. But I just want to take a few minutes today to talk about some of the foundations of the present perfect form. There are two words I think are important to remember as your foundation for present perfect. And these two words are until now. Until now. What do I mean? Let me give you a sentence. For example, if I say to you, I've watched that film three times. Now here I'm giving you a particular piece of information. But always remember, I'm talking about until now. What do I mean? Try this visually. Imagine I am standing in the present. And there in front of me is the future. Behind me is the past. Now I'm talking about from the past until now. And what I'm telling you is I have seen the film from my past three times until now. Now it's a little more complicated than that and as I say we need to open this up a little bit more. But I want you to remember this principle of until now. There is a connection from the past until now. And this is why this is considered a present tense. So we use present perfect very often to talk about our general experience of life from the past until now. So when I gave you this example of I've seen the film three times, I'm not interested in what happens in the future necessarily. I am interested in what happened from the past until now. A very common question that we ask in the present perfect is the question, have you ever, with the past participle. As an example, I could ask you, have you ever been to America? That question I ask is because I don't know your life, I don't know who you are, I want to get to know you and your experience of life. So it's a question about from your past until now. Have you ever been to America? The classic school answers are yes I have or no I haven't. The full version of that answer is yes I've been to America or no I haven't been to America or yet again no, I've never been to America. Well, let's look at the structure here. I've been to America. Well, I is the subject. And then we use the auxiliary verb have, or in the third person singular, has. He has been to America. Or she hasn't been to America. Then the verb is in the past participle. Now, if we're using a regular verb, the verb always ends in ed. But if the verb is irregular, unfortunately, you have to go to your grammar book at that special page where there are three columns of irregular verbs. And the past participle is very often that third column. So the past participle of be is been. And with been, we always use this preposition to. Have you ever been to America? So that's all I want to give you for today. So thanks for joining me today. I'm Phil Woolley. This is PW English Lab. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. If you are interested in having online tuition, please feel free to write to me 
at pwenglishlab at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you.